.NET Framework Class Library. We can say that Class Library is the second major entity or second major component of .NET Framework. Within this tutorial, we will see the overview of Base Class Library or Framework Class Library. So hello friends, this is Dr. Nikisha Jariwala. Welcome to the tutorial of .NET. So let's continue with our topic. As I have told, Class Library is the second major entity of .NET Framework which is designed to integrate with the common language runtime that is CLR. It gives the program access to runtime environment. It consists of lots of pre-written codes that all the applications created in .NET or Visual Studio .NET can use it. The code for all the elements like forms, controls and the rest in .NET applications actually comes from the class library. .NET Framework class library is built on object oriented nature. It provides classes that can be used in the code to accomplish a range of common programming tasks such as string management, data collection, database connectivity and we can also say file access. One of the most important feature of .NET Framework class library is that it can be used in consistent manner across multiple languages. This means that you can use the same set of classes for performing a specific task in VB as well as in VC++ or C Sharp. This not only makes the .NET Framework types easy to use but also simplifies the learning curves associated with using a new piece of code. The .NET Framework class library comprises of namespaces which are contained within assemblies. So now let's see what is namespaces. Namespaces helps you to create logical groups of related classes and interfaces that can be used by any languages targeting the .NET framework. Namespaces allows you to organize your classes so that they can be easily accessed in other applications. Namespace can also be used to avoid any naming conflicts between classes that have the same names. Let's take an example. You can use two classes with the same name in an application provided they belong to different namespaces. You can also access the classes belonging to the namespace by simply importing the namespace into your application. The .NET Framework uses a dot as a delimiter between classes and namespaces. For example, system.console, system.web, system.drawing, system.data. In the example, system.web, web is the name of the class and system is the name of the namespace. Within this diagram, I have specified some common namespaces and along with that, I have specified their classes. So, with the help of .NET Framework class library, we can easily develop different types of applications within .NET Framework. We can develop web application, windows application, web services, window services, etc. It means with the help of class library, we can say that our task or our programming will become quite easier. So this is all about .NET Framework class library. If the tutorial is helpful to you, please like and share the video. Also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss the update. You can also follow me on Instagram and watch different series that is the tutorials which are related to .NET Framework, ASP.NET, etc. My Instagram ID is specified in the description box. Thank you.